A look around the convention floor and you see what the Democrats consider a microcosm of America. This 2016 DNC is the most diversified the DNC has ever had before, and it really reflects the electorate as a whole. And the Democrats argue that's why Republicans are out of touch with the country, pointing to the mostly white delegates attending the Republican National Convention. There are over 1,180 black people. There were 18 black men and women at the RNC all told. I think that really tells us that the Democratic Party is really looking to have a face of inclusion. Jose Miguel Roman is a delegate of Puerto Rican descent. He says Donald Trump's vision of building a wall and attacks on immigrants have driven many Latinos to the Democratic Party. The idea that anyone believes that we're anything less than because we are happen to be an, of an ethnic group that's different has been something that has, re, it really has hurt us and has, I think, ignited a deep, deep interest among Latinos to really be part of the process and make our voices heard. Also making their voices heard are members of the LGBT community. This year, LGBT delegates will number almost double what they were in 2008. Earl Folks is the chair of the DNC LGBT caucus. The LGBT community has been very excited and engaged through efforts by myself and other people like me to really get them to be part of the party so we can make LGBT rights a, a platform in the party and a platform in this country. And then there are the young delegates like Monica DePaul, galvanized by the Bernie Sanders movement. This is her first convention and likely not her last. I've been learning a lot about it. I've been learning a lot about how the system works. Just the amount of engagement that um, that Bernie has brought into the fray has really made a huge difference. An engagement that both Democrats and Republicans hope will be out in force come Election Day. Francisco, CCTV, Philadelphia.